Merry Christmas, everybody. Wanted to give y'all a quick uh, sorghum cookie recipe. It is December 14th of 2023. All right, the first thing we'll need is we'll need 12 tablespoons of butter, melted. We need a cup of sugar, an egg, and a third a cup of molasses. Okay. Now over here we need a cup and a third, a cup and three quarters of cup, one and three quarter cup of flour. We need some baking soda, some ground ginger, some cloves, and some ground cinnamon. So to show you real quick, once you've melted your butter, you're going to put your sugar in. You're going to put your sorghum in. That's juicy pour. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're going to put an egg. Then you're going to simply whisk all this up. Keep mixing until you get to uh, getting close. Ooh, that looks good. Mixing. All right, so it's it's ready now. This is about the consistency you want it. Now, one thing I forgot to say is you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. See this? So you want to do that immediately. Now, let's come over here. We're going to take our flour, a cup, one th three quarter cup of flour. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that right now. All right. Okay, now we're going to go a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half teaspoon of that. We're going to do a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. We're going to do a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. We're going to do a full teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to do a half a teaspoon of salt. Lots of teaspoons. <laughs> That's right. Half a teaspoon of salt. And All right, now. Looks like so far. Neither. We're going to take and just mix this all together. All of our dry ingredients, besides the sugar, and okay. mix that all together. Okay, and then we're going to take our molasses, I mean sorghum mix here. We're going to go straight into here. Can you see that? Ooh, the play. I like to take the whisk and get it down as much as I can. And then we'll take the whisk over here. And then we'll take our spatula and rest and get the rest of that good stuff in there. Alright, now we're just going to mix the flour and the butter and sugar and sorghum. We're gonna mix that all together until we create some cookie dough. Okay. All right, you wanna to get to this consistency right here. They're at it. And I know it's runny, but that is perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm using an ice cream scoop here. Um, so we're going to scoop out our cookie dough with the ice cream scoop. And then just want to show you real quick, parchment paper, you want to use that. It just makes for an easier cleanup. So this is how we do it. So we'll get a scoop of this. 
cookie dough, and we're just gonna wet it down. That's it. Spray it like, just like that. Another scoop. You wanna put them about a couple of inches apart. Will it like flatten out? Yeah, it'll flatten out. We'll put it a couple of inches apart. These aren't even kicked and they're trying to get, they're still like getting flattened. Yeah. So these are going to be baked at uh, 350 degrees for 10 minutes and then let them cool for about five minutes. Okay. So I'm only going to bake, what is this? How many is that Josie so far? Um, so we're you. We're going to do 12. Yeah. And these might actually be a little too close right here, but that's okay. Yeah, I'll be fine. Right. So 12. So we're gonna leave it like that. And then check this out. We're going straight into the oven. Uh, 350. For 10 minutes. Okay. All right, in the meantime, we're gonna take a look at our little string of Christmas lights we got out, out back. And our little frosty. All right, just to show you, I got another batch going uh, to get ready to put in the oven. And this is how much we have left. So enough for a couple more cookies. So I'll probably put another batch in there. But all in all, it makes uh, so. 12 and 12, that's 24, so probably about 26, 27 cookies, something like that. All right, so it made uh, a total of 27 cookies there. Went ahead and put out the other three. So the ones that are in the oven, and these right here. We've got two minutes and 30 seconds left on the first batch. All right, so we got our first batch out. We're going to let these cool for a minute, and then we're going to transfer them to this cooling rack here. We'll probably let them cool for <clears throat> two minutes or so. We put our last batch in there. Well, actually these are our last batch. But once these cool down a little bit, I'll get them off of there and then transfer those to that. But this is how they look, they flatten out. And what you can do is you can add a little bit of uh, sugar and salt, just a hair of sugar and salt on there to to kind of dress them up a little bit. All right, just show you real quick how to do these here. Just kind of separate them a little bit. I've only let them sit for like maybe a minute. And you see here. All right, and so on. All right, so we got the first batch transferred over. We'll just let them cool for a little bit to be ready to eat. All right, so I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and uh, remember the real reason for the season, and that's Jesus Christ. Now let's take a quick, quick bite of this and see how it is. Mmm. It's a good cookie here. Bro! All right, we're gonna have Josie try it. Good. You like it? Uh -huh. All right. All right. Wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Have a good one.